Meghan Markle and Prince Harry have been accused of setting off a nuclear bomb by agreeing to the Tell All interview with Oprah Winfrey. <laughs> a royal expert has also criticized the couple for failing to give the Queen a heads up about the interview, with one expert saying it should have been common courtesy to tell the palace in advance of it being released to the press. Russell Myers, royal editor at the Daily Mirror, said that Meghan and Harry should have told the Queen about their plans to participate in the 90-minute TV special. When appearing on ITV's Lorraine Today, the expert said that while the couple were under no obligation to tell the palace about the interview, it would have been the right thing to do. He said, if you're going to set off a nuclear bomb like this, doing a huge interview which will no doubt garner attention across global networks, the decent thing to do would be to tell the Queen, tell your granny you're going to do it. Mr. Myers suggested the royal family will be horrified by the news of the interview, where they will discuss why they decided to quit the firm last year. The royal editor added, We know they have gone alone and set this path for themselves. The very fact is they are separate from the royal family now. Palace aides were saying look they didnt need to tell us if they didnt want to but one would think there is common courtesy. Mr Myers fears the interview will have disastrous consequences for the royal family. He said, history is there to be seen. Whenever royals do these big tell-all interviews, they have disastrous consequences. Look at Prince Andrew recently, further back in the 90s with Diana and Charles, we're still talking about them now. He added, it's absolutely horrifying news, I would say for the royal family. The fact Gail King is training Oprah's big interview so strongly, saying they really wanted to get it, and it will absolutely explosive indeed. The very fact Oprah has been given carte blanche to ask anything, will be making the royal family very, very nervous indeed. 